Welcome back YouTube. Today I'm going to show you how to create your own set of fours. Uh, some people refer this to as a block and tackle or a four to one. Um, but today I'm going to call it a set of fours. And uh, most of your rescue companies are going to have a set of fours in their equipment cache. But uh, it's not just for rescue personnel, it's also for people that work on their farm or around their house and they need a way to lift, uh, lift efficiently, okay? So let's cover what we need to accomplish this. Uh, first of all, we're going to need pulleys and you're going to need a double, two double pulleys. As you, as you can see here, there's two sheaves in each one. Um, now these are expensive pulleys I have in my hand and I realize not everybody's going to have these. So um, we can also use regular pulleys and you know, this is an example of a double sheave pulley that has the traditional side plates that uh, you put a carabiner in here but you can't open this after the carabiner's in there and it's cheaper. It's a cheaper version. Uh, still high quality pulley. Um, so don't think you have to buy a very expensive pulley to do this. Uh, a cheaper version will work too. But we're going to use these because uh, it's just easier to demonstrate what I'm going to show you. So we'll need two of these. Um, we'll need a hard link. Okay. And we will need a prusik loop. And... Um, in a rope, obviously. Okay, so these are your components, and I'm going to show you how to put it all together. So, up here I have a an anchor already, and I'm going to go ahead and clip in. Um, so we're going to do this vertically. It's just, it's just a little bit easier to demonstrate. And first thing I want to do is I'm going to put my hard link in here. And I can go ahead and close that and shut it. Uh, we're going to be tying a scaffold knot on here first. And if you don't know what a scaffold knot is, I'm going to show you here, but I also have videos. And all the knots I tie today, I have independent videos you can check out. Okay, so uh, the reason we want a hard link in here is because the scaffold knot, I want it lower. Um, I don't, I could tie the scaffold knot onto the Beckett. That's what this guy is down here. Um, but it, it may interfere with, since this rope is so thick, it might interfere with the operation of my pulleys and I don't want that. So to tie a scaffold knot, you're going to do this and you're going to wrap back towards your anchor and get a little bit more there. And you can make two wraps. So you'll have two parallel strands. And if you flip it over, you'll have a cross right here. And then behind that cross is where you want to put your tail. And keep in mind, once you set a scaffold knot, it's, it's really hard to untie. So this is going to be permanent more than likely. Okay. So, all right. So I'll pull that tight. Okay, so then if I pull this, it'll tighten right down there. Okay, set that knot. Okay, so I got my cross. I got my two parallel strands. And that's my scalpel knot. Okay, that's step one. Now what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to open my side plates. I'm going to double pull these. And I'm going to grab my other one. Open these guys up too. Okay, so what I like to do is orient my other pulley and I like to go to my left sheave backside up. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is do this right here. Okay, and once I get that loaded, I can go ahead and shut my side plate. Okay, so this is what you're going to end up with starting out. And I go to that same side and, OK, 
Okay, just like that. So we're gonna go back down and we're gonna go lower the lower sheave. Okay, and then obviously we're gonna go to the last one. And there you have it. That is a, you have just created a four to one. Now, if I put a load on this, yeah, we got a little 15 pound weight here. Okay, hold on to the end. Um, I can lower it. Okay. And then I can raise it. Okay, and that's a classic block and tackle, four to one. Now the problem is, is if I let go of this tail, your weight's gonna fall to the ground. And we don't want that. We wanna be able to weigh to capture our progress. Okay, so we're gonna start out with, I'm gonna lower the weight to the ground, and I'm gonna show you how, in the four to one configuration, how to capture your progress. Okay, so I'm gonna take a Prusik, and again, if you don't know how to tie these knots, I have other videos, and I am going to tie a triple wrapped Prusik right here. Now, let me show you, let me back up. Here's your tail, because you're gonna have five strands here. You, you need to know which strand to tie it on. Um, you wanna find your tail, and the first line coming out of your, your pulley is the one you wanna capture. Okay, so ignore all these. We wanna tie it right here. Okay, so I'm gonna tie a triple wrap, Prusik. Okay, once you, once you try tie your prusik, go ahead and set it. Remember, always set your prusiks because um, if they're loose, they're not going to grab. Okay, it's going to look just like that. Now we need to put this into here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to unclip this to make it look right. Okay, so this is what you're gonna end up with. Now, something to keep in mind is this pulley is a prusik minding pulley, meaning as I lift up, this prusik is going to jam up against the pulley and not get sucked into it. And it's gonna hold that prusik open. So as I pull up, Okay, so I'm lifting my weight. Okay. Now if I let go, that prusik is going to capture that. Now this is only 15 pounds, um, but uh, regardless, it's still gonna catch. Um, so there you go. In a four to one configuration, that means the anchor is at the top and the load is at the bottom. This is a four to one. And that's how you do it. Okay, now to lower this, you raise it up and hold this prusik against the prusik mounting pulley and then just lower it. Okay. All right, now this, okay, so we're done as far as the four to one. This is a set of fours with a progress capture, and that's all there is to it. Okay, now, something else I wanna show is if we reverse this, and instead of our anchor being up here, this was our load, and down here was our anchor, and the strands are all pulling in the same direction, this is gonna be a five to one. Okay, so if we go into the five to one configuration, that means this is our movable pulley now instead of our stationary pulley. So what that means is, it's gonna be moving away from you, potentially. Okay, and if we have this Prusik right here, 
um, that's going to be problematic because you won't be able to mind your Prusik because it'll be too far away from you. So we need to change the position of this. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise this up so you can see. All right, let's do a little lower. Okay. So again, you got to imagine this. This is my stationary anchor. This is my movable, movable pulley. So instead of this prusik being on this strand, we want it on this strand. Okay. So, uh, I'm going to be taking this off in a second, but just so the weight stays put, I'm going to leave it. Okay. So I'm going to take another prusik. And I am going to tie a triple wrap. Press it down here. Okay. And it's going to go into this right here. Okay. Now just so I don't, I don't have to lift 15 pounds and convert all this. I'm going to take this off. Okay, I'm going to take this out, take my, clip it back in. Okay, now I can take this prusik off. Now, obviously, if you knew you were going to be using a five to one, you would not have done this in the first place. You would have gone to this. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to clip. Okay. Okay. Now, same principle applies. We have our progress capture and to release it. We push it against there. Okay. So as we lift and we let go, it's going to capture. Okay. But uh, again, this is, <laughs> it might be hard to imagine, but this is stationary and this is moving but our progress capture stays with the stationary pulley. Okay. So we can always get to it and manage it versus this pulley. It could be going up and down and we don't, we may, may not be able to reach it. Uh, progress capture because it'll be too far away from us. Okay. All right. So this is the five to one configuration uh, loads up here. The anchors down here all five of your strands are pulling in the right direction. Okay. All right. Now, one last thing before I close this up, uh, keep in mind, this is a very versatile setup and we can use this for many, many things. Um, we can use it for a pickoff for a rescue. It's very handy for that, uh, for conversions from a lower to a haul or a haul to a lower. It's also something we could do. We could use it as a tension tie back, uh, for marginal anchors. We can use this for, um, artificial high directionals, you know, securing our mono monopole or our, uh, tripod to where it's secured to an anchor. So there's many, many uses for this. So, uh, very, very handy thing to know and to have in your arsenal. Okay, well, I'll stop there, and uh, hopefully I, this all makes sense, and uh, I'll see you on the next one.